Maria here and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would do an unboxing first impressions of four different perfumes that I've just recently ordered. Some of them I've smelt before, some of them is a bit of a surprise. Well actually only one of them is a surprise so but it'll be a surprise for all of us. But before I do that if you haven't subscribed <laughs> please feel free to join the weird, wonderful family. And um, if you enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up, leave comments, tell me what you think of the perfumes I'm showing you. And yeah, it just helps build the community, grow the channel, all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first one that I'm super excited about is this one. It's Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Classique Essence de Parfum. So yes, I had smelt this before we went into uh, the whole COVID situation. I uh, had smelt this at my local department store and um, I definitely preferred it over the, um, the original, the original classic. And this is my first Jean-Paul Gaultier. So I'm super excited and I can't get into it. Ah, I got it. <gasps> okay, are you guys ready? Look at it, it's awesome. Okay, I'm super, super, this is kind of like Christmas. So, wow, look at that. I love it, I love it. Um, now, the sad part of the, this story is that, ooh, it even feels kind of, we, this is another weapon, weapon one. <laughs> um, I was really sad because on Fragrance Buy, they had uh, this perfume, a 100 mil tester, for, I think it was $79 and I put it in my cart and then the 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 day I decided to go buy it and I'd left it there for the longest time they had sold out of it and so I was just kicking myself because $79 for 100 mils is fantastic so I just bit the bullet and bought this one um, I think this one was 72 for 50 mils so that still isn't a bad deal uh, but this is what the bottle looks like oh, it's so pretty uh, now this one, I just love the scent of this. I couldn't tell you the notes right now. Um, I, I do know it still has the classic ginger. It's got a whipped cream note. Mm. Uh, yeah, I can smell that ginger right off the top. It's, it's vanilla, whipped creamy, creamy, uh, spicy. It kind of uh, is reminiscent to Alien Eps Essence Absolute. Uh, reminiscent but not the same. It's not as deep and dark and sexy and sultry but this one is still really beautiful and what I find is that as it dries down I love it even more and the the whipped creamy type note uh, yeah that just comes out more and more. It's just a super uh, it's kind of spicy, it's sexy, it's sultry, it's creamy uh, I love that vanilla dry down. It's awesome. And I don't hear people talk about this one too much uh, other than Ouch 101, I think it is. I can't remember. He's, he, I like him anyway. Uh, but he's talked about this, but I haven't seen many people talk about this one. And really, if you can sniff this one, definitely do so because it's, I think it's really, really good. It's better than any of the other Jean-Paul Gaultier ones that I've tried. I haven't smelt La Belle. Uh, but this is definitely my favorite one that I've smelled. And it's better than Cabaret. Cabaret, uh, I know it's got that, it was quite spicy in the beginning, and then it was just kind of, eh. This one is nice and rich, and I love this one. So the next perfume I have is Olympia Intense. I want to keep saying Olympia Aqua, but it's Olympia Intense. And basically what happened with this one was I went to... Uh, my local drugstore and I tried out both uh, what I thought was Olympia and Olympia Aqua but what it was was they had mixed up the bottles and they were actually spraying Olympia Intense on me. So I bought the Aqua at first and then I kept on thinking about the Intense and the Intense I loved the Aqua for the daytime I just really thought it was pretty but this one is so sexy so sexy and then I heard Paulina Shar talking about it and she just seemed to love it. And yeah, she's, she's great. So uh, yeah, heard her talk about it, heard Mila LeBlanc talk about uh, all of them. So I wanted to get it. Plus I just really love this bottle. Like look at it, it's beautiful. Anyway, um, let's take a sniff. Oh, look 
Okay, that was a little harder to get off than I anticipated. I'm really excited. Please forgive me if I'm over the top, but I'm super pumped. Okay. Mm. This one is, to me, this one's a bizarre one because it's like out of the, I was gonna say out of the tube, but out of the bottle straight away, it's, it, I'm not as crazy about it, but right away that salt starts to come through and it's just this warm, ambery vanilla. It's a lot richer. It's a lot sweeter than Olympia or Olympia Aqua, uh, but it's super duper sexy. And even though it's super sweet, um, it doesn't feel, it still doesn't feel cloying to me because of that salt note. But for some people, I, I think that they would find this to be a bit much, but mm, it's just rich and delicious. I love it. Okay, next one. The next one that I have is Alien, and I have one of the old ones, and that's the reason why I got this. I was super excited. Alien, and it says right on here, Terry Moogler. Uh, and so the reason why I wanted to get that was I want to see, I'm really curious, do I notice a difference between new formulation versus the old formulation? I remember the old formulation, and I'm pretty sure that it is different. Uh, but I thought I would get it and we would try it out and they had a little 30 mil. This is a pretty darling little baby. So uh, Alien Old Formulation Terry Mugler bottle. Uh, and so yeah, I'm not even going to spray this one right now because I'm going to keep that a little bit of a secret. And I'll do a video on uh, whether I think there's much of a difference. So the last one that I have for you is... Uh, Montal Intense Cafe. Again, I've heard so many people, in particular uh, Mila LeBlanc and um, Paulina Shar, both talk about this and they seem to love it. So I want to give it a try. I tried Holidays and that one just wasn't for me at all. I just, it to me, the Tierre flower was so potent and it didn't smell like a, a delicious summer drink to me. It smelled like kind of a sickly, Tierre with a plasticky type note. It, it just didn't, it, it smelled good in the bottle. I loved the sprayer on the bottle. It was beautiful, but on me, it just kind of smelled soury weird. So that one was a no for me. So I'm hoping that this will be a yes for me. We'll see. So Montal Intense Cafe. Like seriously, this feels like Christmas. <laughs> I wish that I wish that we were all together opening these up. Okay, this is way tinier of a bottle than I anticipated, but it's pretty darling. I think it's 50 mil. Yeah, it's 50 mil. There it is. That is the tiniest thing ever, but it's pretty cute. I like this little whatever dingly, dingly business. Okay, let's find a blotter. Okay, oh, this one has the same kind of head as the Mancera, Mancera bottles, and I really liked it, and I loved the spray of the Mancera, like the holidays, the spray on it was beautiful. So let's see what this one's like. Uh, feels a little cheaper. Okay, it's the scent that matters. I love it. I, it's awesome. I hope it smells good on me. Okay, so I smell the rose. I smell the coffee. I smell rose more than coffee, but the mixture is delicious. Oh, to me, it smells a little bit woody too. I don't know if this has oud in it or what, but to me, this is what I, I envisioned somehow uh, this, this is the smell that I would associate with Lancome's Oud Bouquet, although I've never smelled Oud Bouquet, but just hearing about it, this is what I envisioned it would smell like. Anyway, really pretty. Can't wait to try it on. And yeah, I'll do, at some point, I'll give more in-depth reviews, but these are my four awesomenesses uh, that I have now. So it's the Cla Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique, uh, Essence de Parfum, uh, 
Olympia Intense. I think I've got like kind of the intense down. <laughs> intense Cafe by Montel and then an old school alien, which I'm excited to test out. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing this with me. Uh, this is the biggest perfume thing I've ever done as far as perfumes at once. And I can't lie, it was really exciting. <laughs> but slightly indulgent, but really exciting anyway. So that's it for today. Um, yeah, if you tell me what you think of these perfumes, if you've tried them and have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon.